Okay guys, my game starts in less than an hour, but the Suns game is on. So I'm not leaving to my game until the Suns game finishes. Luckily, the Suns game is going to end in a few minutes. Hopefully, the Suns win. I really don't want to go play my game after watching the Suns lose. I would literally be depressed. So, it's a close game. What do you know? Of course. What a surprise. Every single Suns game is close, but yeah, the Suns game is almost over. Babe, do I ever get a break from basketball? Like, my brain is basketball. Go Booker for three. Oh my god, that's four in a row. Four threes in a row for Devin fucking Booker. He is on a mission right now. That man is on a mission. But yeah, guys, I swear, wake up, play basketball. Come back home, watch basketball, the Suns game, and then go to my game and play basketball at night. I'm the definition of ball is life. Oh no! How is that a foul? You piece of shit refs rigged, paid off by Las Vegas betters, you rigged ass league. Okay guys, but yeah, hopefully I get to watch the Suns win right now and then go play my game. Imagine how mad I would be, like how angry I would be playing if I play after watching the Suns lose. Like right after watching the Suns lose. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever played basketball after a Suns loss. Oh well, hopefully they could win. Guys, I'm getting the pre-game treatment every commercial break of the Suns game. It's a commercial right now, so I get the pre-game massage. My legs are dead. Let me just say, babe, how much basketball have I played this past week? A lot. <laughs> the chicken so the chicken leg stretch i have such chicken legs i swear i need to start working out my legs yeah you do with me i work my legs out you work your butt i'll work my legs no i work okay okay back on back on stretch later guys booker's on fire oh my god another three. Oh my goodness booker stop it we get it! You could shoot the ball! Oh my god, that's five threes in the fourth quarter. Booker, you damn go the greatest of all time. Soon to be, not yet. <laughs> Why is my foot bigger than your damn head? <laughs> I swear. Get yourself not only someone who's your girlfriend, but also personal trainer. I wish. Oh, I, I like I like this stretch. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Say go baby for Devin Booker. Say it, say it. Grab it! What? That's not even him. Before the game, everyone's already waiting for me. It's getting late, but the Suns game still isn't over, so I can't miss the Suns game. Yes! And one! Yes! I, oh my god, Bledsoe. Thank you so much. Did I ever tell you guys how much I love these two guys named Devin Booker and Eric Bledsoe? Okay, so look. This and one. Got him. Up high off the glass, Bledsoe, thank you. Okay, so the Suns are down by one with one minute left and Bledsoe shooting a free throw to tie the game. Come on, Bledsoe, please. Yes, tie game, a minute and five seconds left. Why are the Suns, listen, the Suns are literally addicted to close games and my heart can't take this anymore. <laughs> We're in so many close games every single time we play. Okay, don't let Towns touch the ball, please. No, no. Yes, travel, yes, yes, yes. That's fine, let anybody else beat you. Let Ricky Rubio take the shots. And let Gorgie Dang take the shots. Just don't let Carl Anthony Towns or Wiggins touch the ball. Okay guys, Suns ball, 45 seconds left, tie game. Please, Bledsoe or Booker, anyone here. <sighs> Bledsoe for three. Wait, why'd you take a three there, Bledsoe? No, we did not need a three. We did not need a three there. We should have got an easier shot. Okay, let's get one more stop. Please, one more stop. Don't let them score. Please, God. Oh, no, watch the pick. Left, left. Get up, TJ. Get up. No, why'd you foul? Oh, my God. There was three seconds left on the fucking shot clock. Damn it. Okay, guys, we got really lucky. Andrew Wiggins missed the first free throw. But Tyson Chandler, you're a vet. You're an NBA champion. You know better. You cannot foul on that play. You should have just stayed straight up. Anyways, please miss this, Wiggins. Boo! No, fuck me. Damn it. See, Tyson's mad at himself. Okay, guys, so the Suns are down by one. 12 seconds left. Their ball. Could you imagine I have to go play a game and the Suns... Oh my god. 
Okay, hurry up. Earl Watson, make this a 20 second timeout. I don't have time. I'm going to be late for my game. Oh my gosh, please, for the love of God. Oh, they're going to show the Devin Booker game winner. I knew it, against New York. Way to put pressure on the young kid. Please let this be a part two for Devin Booker, please. Oh my God, I'm shaking. I can't even hold the camera. <laughs> 13 points in the fourth quarter for Devin Booker. Way to come up clutch, young one. Please, you don't even need a three. I don't get why we keep going for threes. A simple two, an easy two wins the game. Tucker, why? Oh, they called a foul. Yes. Dad, they called a foul for P.J. Tucker. Tucker, please come up clutch, P.J. Holy shit, Tom Thibodeau's irate. Oh, my God. Please, P.J., don't choke. Please. I'm already getting ready to tweet. Oh, wait, babe. I'm on your account. <laughs> Imagine I tweeted, fuck, blah, blah, blah. The Suns, all this off of Jackie's account. PJ, 76%. Please, please. Oh my god, I have to pee so bad. Oh my god, I'm shaking for him. I can't even imagine how nervous he is. Shush, 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 don't bother him. Yes, okay, shush, nobody talk. Nobody in the house talk. Don't bother him. One more, one more, PJ. Please, please, God. It's, oh my god, why does this have to happen before my basketball game? I need to go. <sighs> Breathe, PJ. Is he going to make it, yes or no? Yes? Okay, if he misses it, it's your fault. Stop. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. You clutch son of a bitch. You clutch, PJ. Hold on, I need to tweet. <laughs> PJ Tucker clutch. Ice in his veins. That's what he has. Ice in his veins. Okay, honestly, I give it to Earl Watson. That was a smart play call. You're down by one with 12 seconds left. Everyone obviously is expecting you to go to Booker or Bledsoe. So the T-Wolves are putting most of their defense on Booker and Bledsoe. And you give it to P.J. Tucker. That was smart. Nobody thought Tucker would get the ball in that situation. So you catch them off guard. Babe, I need to change. Okay, one more stop, sons. One more stop. Out, babe. Okay. So I can't even feel pain right now. I'm too nervous. I don't care. One more stop. Six seconds left. This is for the Suns winning three in a row. I can't even remember the last time the Suns won three games in a row. I must have been a baby. No, I'm just joking. Dad, if the Suns win today, that's three in a row. We haven't won three in a row in so long. It's been like three years. Okay. One stop. Don't let Towns or Wiggins touch the ball. Don't let Towns or Wiggins touch the ball. Don't let Towns or Wiggins touch the ball. <sighs> yeah, let Rubio take that shot. It's fine. No, 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 no. Not Wiggins. T PJ, step up. Put your hands up. No, no. Shut the fuck up. No, 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 no. Not Wiggins. T PJ, step up. Put your hands up. No, no. No, 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 not Wiggins. T PJ, step up. Put your hands up. No, no. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. the fuck what the fuck what the fuck what the fuck is that shit fuck basketball fuck this fucking sport of fuck that was such good defense by pj tucker we're fucking cursed i swear we're fucking cursed how did that yeah, let Rubio take that shot. It's fine. No, 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 not Wiggins. T PJ, step up. Put your hands up. No, no. 
Shut the fuck up. The fuck? Fuck basketball. Fuck this fucking sport. Of fuck. Are you fucking kidding? What the fuck? Why does this shit happen? Oh my god. What the fuck? Only to the Suns. Only to the Phoenix Suns. I'm literally shaking right now. Oh my God, I understand if we played shit defense and, and he just got an easy shot and they won, but Tucker played great defense. Wiggins even lost the ball and he went, oh my phone. Oh my phone. Well, it's just a game. Dad, did you see it? Yeah, we know it's a buzzer beater is coming. Yeah, but that way he lost the ball. Tucker, great defense, picks it up and... Yeah, they just want to piss you off. Fuck. Why does this shit... Oh my god. Well, you know what? Yeah, it's just a game. It's just basketball. You know, like everyone says, oh, it's just a game. Who cares? What happens on TV doesn't affect your life, does it? Fuck you. Yes, it does affect my life. It does affect my life. I hate those people. When the Suns lose and I'm in a bad mood and those people come up to me saying, oh, it's just a game. Whether the Suns win or lose, you're still Brandon Awadis. You're still living the same life. Fuck you. No, my life does get, my, my mood does get changed when the Suns win or lose. So don't. You know what, guys? I'm I'm done. Yeah, you you know what? They're right. It's just a game. You know, I'm I'm still the same guy. I'm done. Fuck this. Like, does God hate me? I don't know. Do the basketball gods hate me? Yes, that's a for sure. Are the Suns cursed? Yes. That like that is not even a question. I look. Oh my God! Why did that have to happen? Why? Oh my god, and I'm late to my basketball game because I just can't get over this. I knew as soon as Wiggins picked it up and shot it, I knew, I knew, I knew 100% it was going in. Why, you might ask? Why, Brandon, why did you know that shot was going in? Oh, well, here's your answer. Because it was against the Suns. Of course it was going in. Of course, if it was against the Lakers or against the Spurs or against the Rockets or against the damn Nuggets, that ball would have rimmed out. But because it was against the Suns, of course Wiggins had to make it. Of course the ball went in. Of course he didn't shoot it and it came out. Of course he didn't shoot it and we blocked it. No, because we're the Suns, so everything bad has to happen to us. So of course he shot it and he made it of course so yeah so ask me again oh brandon how'd you know that shot was gonna go in you said right when he shot it you knew it was gonna go in why yes i knew the second he picked up to shoot it i knew it was going in even if he threw it all the way to the other side of the arena it would have found a way to get inside the hoop because it's against the suns 
Even if he shot it like this, even if he even if he rolled it like a bowling ball, the basketball gods would somehow pick it up and put it inside the hoop. Why? Because it's the Suns. That's why. <sighs> Had enough of this shit, I swear. Like, even if Thibodeau told the T Wolves, hey, you know, we got a tank. We want that number one pick. Wiggins, go miss that shot. And Wiggins went out on the court and threw it off of his head out of bounds. It would have spiraled somehow, and the basketball gods would have put it inside the hoop to win the game. All because it was against the Suns. I, I don't know what I did. I, I don't steal. I don't hurt people. I don't cheat on my girlfriend. I don't make fun of others. Like, what do I do? Like, what do I do wrong on this earth, God? What do I do for you to, like, punish me this way? Why? I, I'm, I'm not a bad person. I might not be the best person on earth, but I'm not a bad person. Why do I get punished like this? I just don't understand why I get punished like this. There's, there's Cleveland Cavalier fans who steal and cheat and do all this, and they got to witness the championship last year. And I can't even fucking watch my team win one fucking game because Andrew Wiggins be hits a buzzer beater. Nice. Why? Why? Why can't the Suns be a good basketball team? Like, why can't I just wake up one day and the Phoenix Suns are good at basketball? Why can't that fucking happen? I don't fucking know. I don't know. Andrew Wiggins, you are the devil. Well, I'm late to my game. Hopefully I get there not too late. I don't even care. I haven't even watched the shot again. I'm not I'm not going to rewatch that shot. If the highlights come on TV, I'm going to turn the TV off. If I see the highlights come up on my phone, I'm going to turn them turn my phone off. I am not going to watch that play again. I watched it one time when it was live, and that's the only time I'm going to watch it. I'm not watching that play again. GG Timberwolves. GG Andrew Wiggins. No, but really, like I play basketball better when I'm mad. So I don't know about this mad though. Like usually I'm mad, but still like contained. But today, like after that game, after that game winner, I'm mad to the point where like I'm shaking. I don't even know if I could dribble a basketball. But on the bright side, usually to get myself mad, before every game to get myself mad, I have Jackie lie to me and tell me that she cheated on me. Stop it. So on the bright side, at least today, she doesn't have to lie to me and say that. I'm just, I'm already mad. So I'm mad to the point like, I don't even know if I could play. Like, I don't know if I could even dribble a basketball or shoot a basketball. Fuck bat. I hate basketball. It's my most hated sport. Fuck the NBA. I hate this. I swear. Literally, why do I do this to myself? Like, am I stupid? It's almost 1 a.m. Look, 12.56 a.m. And I'm re-watching the game for a second time. So obviously I watched it the first time live. And now I'm watching it again before we go to sleep. Why am I going to be depressed? <laughs> I know guys, I'm gonna have nightmares, I swear. I don't know why I do this. I love this team way too much. So, I'm gonna rewatch the game again before I go to sleep. Maybe if I watch it a second time, the outcome will be different. You think if I watch it, now Wiggins might miss that last shot or no? No, but I think maybe you can like see like what's not working. But yeah guys, I'm gonna watch the game again before going to sleep. Bled Goat. Eric bled goat. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Why do I do this to myself? I swear I'm gonna have the worst nightmares. No, but really, who else do you know that watches the whole game the first time, from first quarter to fourth quarter, records it, and then watches it again before he goes to sleep? I'm a crazy one. I know. I'm crazy, but. Trust me, I wish we could watch like Desperate Housewives. This is all we watch together. So... <laughs> Jackie begs me to watch Netflix shows. This is my Netflix shows. Guys, and you know, some people might watch the end of games like two times, but no, not me. I'm watching from the first quarter till the end for a second time. I don't skip to the end. I watch the whole thing all over again. I told them the other day in, in my last vlog that if, that if you open my head, my there wouldn't be a brain. There would just be a basketball in there. Oh, I know. I saw that. <laughs> We're cursed. We, we are cursed. That I, The Phoenix Suns are a cursed basketball team, and I'm a fan of a cursed team. Okay guys, so I'm here to do the outro to this video. This is the day after the game. I couldn't do the outro the night of the game. I was just too upset, too mad, so I didn't even want to talk about it. Hey, I'd be lying if I said I was fully over it. I'd be lying if I said that I don't care about that game anymore. But I am getting better. I am slowly forgetting about it. Now that I'm calm, let me just say it. GG to the Minnesota Timberwolves. They played a good game. They put up 112 points. Wiggins took off in that fourth quarter. He killed us, obviously, with the buzzer beater. But even before that, he was playing really good. He had 31 points. The sad thing is for the Suns is that 
their biggest focus, their main focus was Carl Anthony Towns. If they contained him, he only had 18 points. But then Wiggins comes out of nowhere and kills us. So hats off to the Timberwolves. They beat the Suns three times this year. There's just... There's just those teams, for whatever reason, that you don't match up well against. And for the Suns, that's the Timberwolves. For Phoenix, Devin Booker played well again. He had 26 points, and he really came alive in that fourth quarter. He he went off. He brought us back. He was on a mission. He wanted to win that game really bad. Obviously, him and Carl Anthony Towns, they're really, really close, best friends. So I'm sure Booker wanted to beat him in Phoenix. The thing I love about Devin Booker is that... He was having a bad game. He was having a really bad game the first three quarters. And then, boom, the fourth quarter came and he took off. He went off. So, that's a really, really good sign. You know, some players, they have a bad game the first three quarters. And it just hurts them mentally and they can't get going in the fourth. But Booker, even though he was having a bad game, he just put all that to the side. And when the game was close, he came up clutch and he almost won us the game. He had like 15 or 16 points in that fourth quarter. Uh, Bledsoe obviously had some really clutch plays at the end. Tyson Chandler... <laughs> Tyson Chandler has been so good for us this season, and I feel like nobody talks about it. Yesterday, he had 22 points and 17 rebounds against one of the best big men in the league, Carl Anthony Towns. So Chandler's been playing really well for us, and I feel like that's going unnoticed. Oh, and we got fucking screwed by the refs. Look at this. So this shot by Devin Booker in the fourth quarter was ruled a two. The ref said that his foot was on the line, and they never reviewed it. They didn't go back and look at it. Well... After the game, if you go back and look, the NBA tweeted a video of it, and it was a three. Devin Booker's foot was behind the line, so it should have been three points. They gave us two, and guess what? We lost by one point. So they stole a point away from us, and then we lost by one point. We got screwed out of that. Devin Booker hit a three. The ref counted it as a two. They never reviewed it, but all of a sudden... After the game, the NBA wants to tweet a picture of it, and his and both of his feet were behind the line. So I find that bullshit. So if they counted that a three, which it should have been, then that would have been a t whatever. I find it bullshit, but what can you do now? It's over. I'm slowly getting over this loss. I'm not going to lie. I'm not 100% over it, and I still don't want to watch the fucking game again, even though I watched it last night before I went to sleep. Anyways, the Suns have been playing way better as of late. They started off the season really bad, and although right now they're not a good team they've been playing really well recently so it's refreshing for me as a Suns fan to watch it's refreshing to see it feels so good seeing Bledsoe play at this high of a level Devin Booker obviously 10 games in a row with 20 plus points he's only 20 years old he's younger than me and he's over here scoring 20 plus 10 games in a row that's crazy uh good for him I wish that translated in a win but it didn't anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I know you guys can't wait for the basketball video. That's going to be up tomorrow. I couldn't get around to editing it. It was taking way too long, but I figured instead of leaving you guys with no upload, I'll just upload this today, and I'll upload the basketball video tomorrow. There was no way I could have got it done today. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's upload, and I hope you guys enjoy tomorrow's even more. If only the Suns won yesterday. And to close this video out, just remember, Andrew Wiggins is the devil. I feel bad for Jackie because she has to go through all this with me. If, I su if I'm suffering from the sun, she's suffering too. So I feel bad for her.